The next thing I'm going to show you is how to change the permissions of files and folders on your web server. And it's not really that important that you know what permissions are. It's just important that you know it's a little bit of information attached to files and folders. And sometimes to get things working or to fix problems, you're going to have to actually change permissions. And there's really no other way to change permissions of files on your web server than using FTP. Um, so hopefully it didn't sound too complicated or scary. It's really very easy, as you're going to see in just a moment as I show you how to do this. First of all, just look at each one of these files. If you notice, I'm going to look at this file too. There's a uh, column in your main window here that shows permissions, and it's always as this four-digit or three-digit number, something like 0755, 0777, 644, or something like that. Um, so you can always get an idea of what the permissions are currently set at, and it's always going to be displayed as a number. If you want to change those, then just pick a file, right-click on it, and choose this item called File Permissions. And then you can set these permissions one of two ways. You can just start clicking and unclicking these boxes, or more often, just type in the three-digit number you want. Most of our tutorials and frequently asked questions um, if you ever do need to change permissions, we'll tell you in a three-digit number, we'll say something like set the permission to 755 or 777. So just type in that number and click OK, and as you see, the permissions got changed. Now you can do this with multiple files at the same time. Let's make all these 744, and you'll see that they'll all change at once. You can also change the permissions for folders, and we can make these 777, and I could just change the permissions for this, the folder, or I could also check this and um, cause the change I'm making to apply also to all the sub-files and directories within, which can be really handy if uh, we ever tell you in one of the tutorials or by email to change this folder and everything in it to 777, then you can do it with one click just by doing that. So that's changing permissions. Easy.